Welcome to Low Key PD. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do what's called calendar integration. And what this means is you're going to integrate your calendar into a website, uh, or you're just going to put it online, whatever. So if you go to the settings for your calendar, this is the calendar settings, not the general app settings for Google Calendar. And you scroll down, you'll find integrate calendar. First thing you'll see is the calendar ID. Right. Every calendar has a calendar ID. Right. This one, because I'm in a managed organization, includes the organization, and it's got this great big long code that specifies uh, exactly which calendar it is. There's also a uh, public URL for this calendar. If I post this on the web and somebody clicks on it, uh, basically it would just show them this calendar. Right, so you can put that in a web browser, make it a link, whatever. Uh, the embed code would allow you to embed the calendar in a website. Uh, maybe you don't just want it to be a, a calendar that opens up in its own URL. It's just part of a website. Uh, and then you can customize it if you're going to do that. Just click on the customize button. And what will happen is you're going to get some choices here. This is what it will look like. And then you can customize this. Let's say I get rid of the print icon, get rid of the tabs, uh, get rid of the calendar list, and it's a you know, slightly different look, but what happens is uh, I can update this and customize it, and then the code, the embed code, will change depending on uh, how exactly I want this to appear. All right, and then if you use iCal, there's also a public address in iCal format uh, and the secret address in iCal format, which you can click on to view it or just copy it without viewing it. So there's lots of different ways that uh, you can integrate your calendar into web apps and things like that. Might be something you need to do uh, and then you can do it. Here's how.